There we go. Good morning, everybody. I'd like to welcome you to the 2022 Rex Christmas program. Housekeeping first, please, if you have any devices, if you could turn them off this morning, that would be a huge help to us. We are in the process of recording for PEG TV. So this is the performance that uh, if you catch us later on or let a relative know that wants to catch the program, this is the one that they will be watching. So um, we don't want any interruptions this morning for that recording. This will be, again, on PEG TV itself, but for those of you who have relatives across the country or even around the world, the program will be available for live stream on PEG TV's YouTube channel at some point, probably later this week or early next week. So um, that is something that is an option going forward. Above all today, we want to honor our Lord and Savior and honor him who came to this earth so many years ago to save us. So if you would join with me in a word of prayer, um, we're going to get started this morning. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We thank you first and foremost for this season, Lord, that we can celebrate you coming to this world as a baby so many years ago. But Lord, we know that the story doesn't end there. We know that ultimately our hope rests in the cross and in the empty tomb. So Lord, today we pray that through this entire program, through our time together, that we would honor you. And we pray that in your name, in Jesus' name, amen. Without further ado, the Christmas County Spelling Bee.
We are coming to you live from the Christmas County Spelling Bee, which will begin at Town Hall shortly. It will be followed with the annual Live Manager Pageant, 
which to me is always the highlight. The seats are filling up, so hurry on over here. I'm Judge Thomas, and welcome to the Bee! Oh, up we go, through the snow, what a wonder sight! Friends and neighbors everywhere, the smell and bees that I It's finally here, shout and cheer, who will spell the tight? Such excitement in the air, the smell and bees tonight! I'm Miss Foster, your pronouncer! This year at our spelling bee, everyone will learn to spell the names of Jesus, that's how the points are earned. The origins from which they came and the definitions will help us learn our Savior's names through this competition. This year at our spelling bee, everyone will learn to spell the names of Jesus, that's how the points are earned. The origins from which they came and the definitions will help us learn our Savior's name through this competition. Oh, on we go through the snow, what a wonder sight. Friends and neighbors everywhere, the spelling bee's tonight is finally here. Shout and cheer, full of something tight. Such excitement in the air, the spelling bee's tonight. Let me officially welcome you to the bee. So I call to you, and a Merry Christmas to at the Christmas County S-P-E-L-L-I-N-G-B, -E -E at the Christmas County B, the spelling bee. Oh, off we go, through the snow, what a wonder sight. Friends and neighbors everywhere, the spelling bee's tonight. It's finally here, shout and cheer, who will spell things right? Such excitement in the air, the spelling bee's tonight. Such excitement in the air, the spelling bee's tonight. Yeah! What an exciting time of year, Christmas. And we are here to celebrate the true reason for the season. Jesus, and that is why it has become a tradition that we have an annual live manger scene at Town Hall. So many of you wanted to participate that the way we have chosen to select our cast is through this spelling bee. Everyone participating will get a part in the pageant honoring our Lord today. As a reminder, our contestants will be spelling the many names and titles of Jesus. That's right, there are over 700 in the Bible, and each of them will reveals to us more of his character and how he works in our lives. What a marvelous Christmas gift we received from the Father 2,000 years ago. Let's begin the B with a review. The ABCs of praise. So many ways to praise you, Lord. I don't know where to start. But with these ABCs of praise, I can express my heart. You're the Alpha, the Bread of Life, the Cornerstone, the Door. Emmanuel, you're always with me, friend and God forevermore. My healer and my inspiration, Jesus, King of Kings. God, my Messiah, reign above all names. So many ways to praise you, Lord. I don't know where to start. But with these ABCs of praise, I can express 
up as I explain how the bee will work. When your number is called, please step up to the microphone. Then you will be given a name to spell. You may ask for a definition, a sentence, a song lyrics, or language of origin. If you hear this, what do you think it means? An angel gets wings? Wrong Christmas show. No, if you hear this spell, it means you have spelled incorrectly. Please step down as you are told what part you will be playing in the pageant. Proceed over to our wardrobe lady, Miss Bruce. And remember, the winner will be featured as either Mary or Joseph. Without further ado, let's begin this year's annual Christmas County Spelling Bee. Contestant number 34, Amanda Allen, step up to the microphone. This is Amanda Allen's second year in the bee. Her brother, Ethan Allen, made it to the final round last year. Ready? R E A D Y? No. N L? Stop! S T O P? Those are not your words. Your word is Lord. Oh, Lord. L O R D. Lord. Correct! <laughs> Number 17, Katie Collins. Katie Collins is this year's cheerleading captain, and I'm sure she has some friends cheering for her today. Go, your word is word. Sentence, please. Your word is word. You just said that sentence, please. That was the sentence. Your word is word. Word is the word. Oh, that word. W-O-D. W-O-R-D. Correct! Number 15, Jeffrey Johnson. Jeffrey Johnson is, the, is quite an athlete. He's on the football, soccer, and basketball teams. Spell light. You just... Correct! Number five, Ferris Wheeler. Okay, Mr. Wyler, would you spell El Shaddai? Gotcha, Wheeler. Just kidding. Your word is savior. Number nine, Beatrice B. Beasley. Step up to the microphone and spell Morning Star. Notice Miss Beasley's Bumblebee-inspired outfit. As I recall, she wore something similar last year.
Correct. Number 11, Randy Richard. Spell Yahweh. What? Is that even a word? Yes, it is. And the language of origin is Hebrew. Of course. Can I have a definition, please? Yahweh is the Old Testament name for the Lord God. May I just spell God? You mean, may I just spell God? May I just spell God? No. We choose the words, Randy. This name was considered so sacred that for centuries it was not spoken aloud. Well, if the name is supposed to say it, are you sure I should be spelling it? Your word is Yahweh. Yahweh. Y A H W A Y. Yahweh? Go get your costume. You'll be a wise man. Number 31, Bella McDowell. Please spell lamb. Song, please. Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb whose fleece was white as snow. Lamb. L A M E. Lamb. Wrong, Mary. Wrong lyrics. Wrong music. Wrong lamb. Bella McDoubt. No. You're out. Number 31. Go see Miss Bruce. You'll be a shepherd lady tonight. That officially ends round one of the spelling bee. Good work, everyone. Let's proceed on. What a fabulous job all our participants are doing spelling the many names of our Lord. Did you know that no person in history has as many names and titles? I think that's because his glory and greatness is beyond description. Let's get back to the B. Round two, contestant number 34, Amanda Allen. Your name to spell is Wonderful Counselor. I'm sure many of you will remember Amanda from last year. She was so tense that she froze up at the microphone. Amanda, oh no, not again. Breathe, Amanda, breathe. Again, number 34, Wonderful Counselor. For those of you who have never actually seen a deer in your headlights, Amanda is doing a pretty good impression of one right now. Breathe, Amanda, breathe. And now I think Amanda would probably be asking for a sentence, right? Sentence, please. And he will be called the Wonderful Counselor. Amanda? And now I think Amanda should be asking for a song. Oh good, this should give Amanda a little time to calm down and get those nerves under control. And let's take some time to praise the Lord for always leading us in wisdom and truth. Wonderful Counselor, that's who you are. Wonderful Counselor, never too far. To open the eyes of my heart to the truth. My wonderful counselor, Jesus, that's you. Wonderful counselor, teach me what's right. Wonderful counselor, so I'll be wise. You promise your help when I call on your name. My wonderful counselor, I give you praise. Speak to my heart through your word that stands forever. Renew my mind in our quiet times together. This Christmas and all through the year. Let your wisdom and counsel be heard loud and clear. Wonderful counselor, that's who you are. Wonderful counselor, never too far to open the eyes of my heart to the truth. My wonderful counselor, Jesus, that's you. Wonderful counselor, teach me what's right. Wonderful counselor, so I'll be wise. You promised your help when I call on your name. My wonderful counselor, I give you praise. Wonderful, sing and rejoice. Counselor, lift up your 
was wonderful. You are the king and reach for the king of council. Come on and lift up your voice. Wonderful. You are the king and reach for the king of council. Come on and lift up your voice. Amanda Allen went to her wonderful counselor to calm her nerves. Great job. Number 17, Katie Collins. Your word is fortress. Fortress. F-O-R-T-R-E-S-S. -S. Fortress. Correct. <laughs> Number 15, Jeffrey Johnson. Ladies, please. Oh, I don't mind. Please spell the name Mighty God. Mighty God. And mend your bed with one of Mighty God. <laughs> um, yeah! Can you put it in a really cool song, please? Let's listen to a really cool Christmas song about our mighty, mighty God. Who created everything? With power and authority, who gave blind men back to sight, who brought dead men back to life? Tell me, tell me, can you tell me, tell me, tell me, can you tell me who can bring my heart to stone? Who and water from the sea? Who the stormy wind and wave? Who alone has power? Mighty God, Lord, you have a power, mighty God, strong and mighty tower, mighty God, Lord, you are my mighty God. Mighty God, faithful through the ages, mighty God, worthy of our praises, mighty God, Lord, you are my mighty Long, ladies. Ferris Wheeler. It's Wyler! Wyler! Okay, okay. Number five. Your name to spell is Everlasting Father. Everlasting Father. Father. Where is my father? I don't see him. My father's not here. 
My father has to work so much. Seems like I barely get to see him. I wish he could be here tonight. Number five, come back. It appears that number five, Ferris Weiler, is a bit distracted. Perhaps if we go to a song, he can clear his thoughts. The sun will set at the end of the day, but I have an everlasting father with a never-ending love. The grass will wither and the flowers fade, but I have an everlasting father with a never-ending the child of God in the manger was born so that we could become children of God. The child of God in the manger was born so that we could become children of God. Yes, we sing and praise our everlasting Father forever will praise you for your never-ending love yes we sing and praise our everlasting father jesus you're the gift from god of love everlasting father jesus you will bring forever everlasting father jesus you will leave us never everlasting father Lord, your love for us is endless, everlasting, everlasting, Father, praise the name of Jesus. Our life on earth is just a moment in time, but I have an everlasting Father with a never-ending love. I know eternity in heaven is mine, but I have an everlasting Father with a never-ending love. The child of God in the manger was born so that we could become children of God. The child of God in the manger was born so that we could become children of God. Yes, we sing and praise our everlasting Father. Forever we'll praise you for your never-ending love. Yes, we sing and praise our everlasting Father. Jesus, you're the gift from God of love. Everlasting Father, Jesus, you will reign forever. Number nine, Beatrice B. Beasley. Would you spell Prince of Peace? Prince of Peace. Isn't that a good title for her? Beatrice Beasley is known for staying as busy a bee all the time, but especially at Christmas. There's lots of Christmas cards I know I need to send. And more parties than I ever could attend. 
attack. It's so crowded at the stores, I can't do this anymore. It's noisy and it's late, it's hurry up and wait. And all we hear this time of year is Christmas cheer. All we hear this time of year is Christmas cheer. The gifts I try to buy are always out of stock. To mail my packages, the lines are around the block. All my chores will have to wait, Dad, again we're running late. I'm cranky, tired, and cold, the season's getting old. I want to pout, or shall I shout? I'm Christmas out. I want to pout, or shall I shout? I'm Christmas out. Wait! Milo shouldn't be this way, Lord Jesus. This isn't why you can, Lord Jesus. I want my life to change and find a better way. I want the Prince of Peace to reign. To reign. Prince of Peace, King of Kings. Your steadfast love is all I need. I will seek your face and celebrate your birth. Prince of Peace, come reign in me. I'll let your spirit guide me, for you came to bring me peace, peace on earth. Prince of Peace, all I need, reign in me, Prince of Peace. Prince of Peace, all I need, reign in Prince of Peace Like a Christmas candle Glowing in the dark That's how the Prince of Peace Is shining in my heart And every day I seek him He shows me how to live To light the way for others With the peace he only lives Prince of Peace King of Kings My as love is all I need I will seek your face Celebrate your birth. Prince of Peace, come reign in me. I'll let your spirit guide me. For you came to bring me peace, peace on earth. Prince of Peace, all I need. Reign in me. Prince of Peace. I guess it's bye-bye to Beasley. Beasley, you'll be an angel in the pageant. Ladies and gentlemen, we are officially entering our third and final round. Amanda Allen. Spell Jehovah. Oh, here we go again. Can we have a sentence, please? I will trust and not be afraid, for the Lord Jehovah is my strength and my song. Isaiah 12, 2. That's my favorite verse, and I will not be afraid. Jehovah. J-E-H-O-V-A-H. Jehovah. Correct! <laughs> Number 17, Katie Collins. Please spell the name Restorer. Restore. R-E-S-T-O-R-E. Restore. I'm sorry, there is one more R at the end of Restorer. Go get your costume number, shepherd costume number 17. 
Miss Collins is out of the B. We are down to three. Number 15, Jeffrey Johnson. Please spell the name mediator. Can I have a definition, please? Someone who intervenes in a dispute to find an agreement. Kind of like a referee, right? Yes, Jeffrey. It's like a referee. Thank you. Referee. R-E-F-E-R-E. -E -E. Referee. Sorry, I thought it was more appropriate. Jeffrey, your word was mediator, not referee. Oh, dude. I'm sorry, you are out of the B. Can I talk to a mediator, please? The decision of the judge, I mean refer, I, I mean judge, is final. Oh no! Bye. Go get your Wiseman custom on, Jeffrey. Number five, Ferris Weiler, not Wheeler. Please spell the name Deliverer. Deliverer. D-E-L-I-V-E-R-E-R. Deliverer. Correct. And then there were two. Will we have a Mary winner or a Joseph winner? Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> we have a tie. According to the rules of the Christmas County Spelling Bee, when there are two contestants left, they are both to spell the same name by writing it down. Please take your pads and move to separate sides of the platform. Contestants, please write down the correct spelling of Nazarene. So it was fulfilled what was said with, through the prophets. He will be called Nazarene. Matthew 2, 23. May I see your answers, please? You are both correct. Good. Take your pads and spell your final words. Please spell the name Emmanuel. Tension is high in town hall. Let's give them some additional time to think as we sing to Emmanuel, which means God is with us. May I see your answers, please? It looks like we've got a winner. Amanda spelled it correctly. I-M-M-A-N-U-E-L. No, Ferris spelled it correctly. E-M-M-A-N-U-E-L. No. no. Amanda spelled it correctly. No, it's Amanda. Order! Order, Town Hall! I said order! I believe we have a Mary and a Joseph. You are both correct! Congratulations! Congratulations, Amanda and Ferris! Great job! Make your way quickly to Miss Bruce and get your costumes on. The Christmas pageant has been cast and we are just moments away. Can I have the stage crew bring in our manger set, please?
If I may, I would just like to add a personal thank you to all our contestants. Like many of you, I have learned so much about our Lord Jesus today as we have looked at many names. That's correct. He truly is our wonderful counselor, our mighty God, and so incredibly much more. Emmanuel, our God, has been with us ever since he entered our world that wonderful holy night in a manger bed. Let's worship and, and praise our Savior, Lord Jesus, the name above all names. There is one name above all others. There is only one name worthy of praise. Yes, there is only one name, and it's the name above all names. Oh, Jesus is the only name that saves. He is the one who brought us God's love. He's the Savior sent down from heaven above. Yes, there is only one name, and it's the name above all names. Oh, Jesus is the only name that saves. Jesus is the sweetest name I know. And he's just the same as his lovely name. And that's the reason why I love him so. Oh, Jesus is the sweetest name I know. This Christmas, if you've asked Jesus to be your Savior and Lord, the Bible says he's written your name on the palm of his mighty hand. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace, Jesus, for the name above all names. the name above all names and forever will proclaim as we celebrate this Christmas and praise you Jesus every knee will bow every tongue confess and your children praise you now we lift you up Lord Jesus he's the name above all names and forever will proclaim as we celebrate this Christmas and praise you, Jesus, every knee will bow, every tongue confess. Let your children praise you now, we lift you up, Lord Jesus. Mighty God, Lord, you have a power, mighty God. Song in mighty 
these guys did, huh? Better than anything you see on TV. I wanted to just take a minute to recognize what we've just seen. And the thing that struck me when these guys were talking was that I, I noticed that there was kind of two different groups of people that responded to the birth of Jesus. Um, there were the wise men and there were the shepherds, which I thought was interesting. The magi, that's what they were called. They were, we call them the wise men. You know, we sing about them, three, you know, three kings. I won't sing, I won't punish you. Um, but we hear about the three kings. Well, those were the wise men, the magi. They were considered religious rulers. They, they were considered rich, famous, powerful. In fact, when they came, they even got to see the king himself, King Herod. So they were pretty important people. After the meeting, they followed the star until they found Jesus. The account continues later to tell us, on coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. And then they opened their treasures and presented him with gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Those are pretty expensive gifts they brought for, the, for Jesus. We often celebrate that group when we sing these songs like Three Kings. The other group of people, though, we see in this account were the shepherds. In fact, just before the last song, we heard a reading, or we tried to hear a reading anyway today, um, about the shepherds. It says, and in the same region there were shepherds out in the field, keeping watch over the flock by night. And an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were filled with great fear. Can you imagine? Can you imagine what it must have been like to have an angel appear to you suddenly? Wow. Great. We see this angel appearing to them. What an amazing thing to happen. And at the moment, the, Lord, the angel told them, don't be afraid. Today, in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you, and he is the Messiah, the Lord. When the angel went away, the shepherd said, Let us go over to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has made known to us. And they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the baby. So the gospel tells us about two groups of people that were invited 
to come to see Jesus. We had the Magi. Their invitation was a star. They were wise. They were smart. They knew when they saw the star, they said, we saw the star for the king. And so they had to come and see it. But the shepherds are a different story altogether. You see, in that day, the shepherds, don't take this personally, shepherds, the shepherds were really considered not very good people. They were poor, they were uneducated. Listen, dads, the last thing you wanted to have happen was your daughter come home and say, I've met the love of my life, and he's a shepherd. That's not what you wanted. They were considered really undesirable people. Yet, it was these people, the shepherds and the magi, that God called to come see their Savior. Why did he do that, I wonder? You know, all the names that they shared today, one of them they didn't share was Messiah. Messiah means the expected king and deliverer. And at the time of Jesus' birth, the Jewish people were waiting for the Messiah to come to save them. None of them really knew what to expect, but they were all waiting expectantly for this Messiah who was going to deliver them. Jesus is the Messiah. He is the one who came to save. What I love about this account is that there was the two people the two people groups. God showed us something very important by inviting both groups to come to Jesus. He put the star up to invite the wise. He sent the angels to make sure that the poor and uneducated, the ones who were lowly considered, were also invited. And why did he do this? Because he wanted everyone to understand that the Savior of the world came for both the rich and the poor. He came for the wise and the uneducated. There is no people group that Jesus didn't come to save. The story didn't just end there. John, Jesus said later on in John 3.16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son that whosoever believes in him may have eternal life. And the story didn't end. Because it didn't just end at the manger. That was the beginning of Jesus' life on earth so that he could die on the cross to take our sins away and rise again to show that he had conquered death. Many of you here tonight at some point have seen the star, heard the call, heard the still small voice in your heart that said, Come to me. That's Jesus calling. Some of you may say, I don't need Jesus, but you do. Some of you may say, you don't know what I'm like. The beauty of it is that Jesus does, and he still died for each one of you. <coughs> Eternal life is yours for all who come seeking after the baby Jesus. And I want to tell you that any person on staff here, your board members, every one of them would love to share with you how you can seek the Savior. So I just want to thank you for letting me share with you that Jesus came for everyone. At this time, we're going to have an opportunity for you to sing. Won't you stand with me? We'll be singing Silent Night, and uh, there will be some fire coming down through the aisle, so if you can prepare for the candle lighting, let's sing this together. Silent Night.
holy night, all is calm, all is bright, round yon virgin mother and child, holy infant so tender and mild, sleep in heavenly peace, sleep in heavenly Silent night, holy night, shepherds quake at the sight, glory stream from heaven afar, heavenly sing hallelujah Christ the Savior is born Christ the Savior is born I'm the last now silent night holy Son of God, love's pure light, radiant beams from thy holy face, with the dawn of redeeming grace, Jesus, Lord, at thy birth, Jesus, Lord, at thy birth. Let's close with a word of prayer. Father, we thank you. We thank you and give you praise. We pray, Lord, that above all, your gospel has gone forth today. Lord, we pray for each and every family and this Christmas season as they celebrate time together. Lord, may we never forget and never lose focus of you. And Lord, we pray your blessings. In Jesus' name, amen. We are going to dismiss the students uh, to their classrooms, but we are going to invite uh, everyone else here. Uh, we do have some cookies and some refreshments here this morning, so we're going to invite you to stick around for that. But if you could allow us to dismiss the students down the center to their classrooms, that would be a big help. Thank you. <laughs>